each day I live. Many Spanish-speaking people still view um, Spanish as their primary language, even if they have passed that test. This is the problem. We should not be encouraging that. They are living in the United States of America. You have to also wonder about, about loyalties. To whom are you loyal? Why will you not learn English? And why would we want to encourage that kind of um, uh, phenomenon? Uh, by doing something like a Spanish language debate for the office of president of the United States. The United States of America cannot be perceived as having been run out of Iraq with their tail between their legs because of a bunch of kids on the border there making improvised explosive devices. We didn't find the weapons. Doesn't mean they weren't there. Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan would, would look at the, at, at the issues that are being debated right here and say, when we're going to win in Iraq. Ronald Reagan would say, as I do, that Washington is broken. And like Ronald Reagan, I'd go to Washington as an out outsider. Ronald Reagan would say, yeah, let's drill in Anwar. Ronald Reagan would say, no way are we going to have amnesty again. Ronald Reagan would say, no to a 50 cent per gallon charge on Americans for energy. I'd be with Ronald Reagan. This party, it has a choice. And it's going to have to be in the house that Ronald Reagan built. Who let the dogs out? Who? Who? Some people have said we had a closed Guantanamo. My view is we had a double Guantanamo. We had to make sure that the terrorists and enhanced interrogation techniques have to be used. I have never, ever supported a specific timetable for exit from, from Iraq. And it's offensive to me that someone would suggest that I have. I'm opposed to setting a specific date for withdrawal. I, want it all. I hate to lose. If this were only about me, I'd go on. I feel I have to now stand aside. For our party, you guys are great. <laughs> I would tell the people who had to do the interrogation to use every method they could think of. Uh, shouldn't be tortured, but every method they can think of. And I would, and I would, well, I'd say every method they could think of, and I would support them in doing that because I've seen, I've seen what, I've seen what can happen when you make a mistake about this, and I don't want to see another 3,000 people dead in New York or any place else. And the reality is, if you look at me, uh, September 11, the funerals, the memorial services, there were times in which it was just impossible oh, of course. not to feel. Not to feel, uh, not to feel the emotion. It's an extraordinary statement of someone who lived through the attack of September 11 that we invited the attack because we were attacking Iraq. I don't think I've ever heard that before, and I've heard some pretty absurd explanations for September 11. I would, I would ask the congressman to withdraw that comment and tell us that he didn't really mean that. Hello, dear. I'm talking. I'm talking to the members of the NRA right now. Would you like to say hello? <laughs> I love you, and I'll give you a call as soon as I'm finished. Okay? Okay. Have a safe trip. Bye, bye. Talk to you later, dear. I love you. And my argument is that we shouldn't go to war so carelessly. When we do, the wars don't end. Congressman, you don't think that changed with the 9-11 attack, sir? What changed? The non-interventionist policies. No. You know, the country's in bankruptcy, and when I listen to this argument, I mean, I find it rather silly because they're arguing technicalities of a policy they both agree with. They agreed going in, they agreed for staying, agreed for staying how many years, and these are technicalities. And you're talking about these technicalities about who said what, when, and we have these silly arguments going on about who said what, when. I think it's time to debate foreign policy and why we don't follow the Constitution and only go to war with a declaration of war. What's success for you in this campaign? What's success? Um, what a win. Is one one is the That's goal? That's not going to happen. Do you do you know for absolute? Are you willing to bet your every cent in your pocket for that? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, I supported the president when he led us into this, as did the Democrats, and I think we owe him not a lot of scorn we owe him our thanks that he had the courage to recognize there was a potential of weapons of mass destruction and rather than wait until we had another attack 
he went and made sure that it wasn't going to happen from Saddam Hussein. I think it would be incredibly presumptuous and even arrogant for me to try to suggest what Ronald Reagan would do, that he would endorse any of us against the others. Uh, let me just say this. I I'm not going to pretend he would endorse me. I wish he would. I'd love that. But I endorse him. Well, you know, sometimes people say we've never found the weapons. Just because we haven't found them doesn't mean they didn't exist. We haven't found Jimmy Hoffa either, but we know he exists. Uh, that, that's always the way that we're going to try to frame this. These three birds all said they would not vote for me on caucus night. You see what happened to them. It's very positive. It's very positive. You vote for me, you live. You don't? Hmm. There you go. Now I got you, you, you wabbit. <laughs> It's God on the phone for me. How, how did he get my number? Oh, God has everybody's number. Yes, God. And you want me to deliver a message? And that would be, yes, sir, we know you don't take sides in the election, but but if you did, we, we kind of think you'd hang in there with us, Lord. We really do. I see you talk to the president, and he talks to you anyway. So that's, and we know that. I have opponents in this race who do not want to change the Constitution. But I believe it's a lot easier to change the Constitution than it would be to change the word of the living God. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family. Which... Which...